Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I hear you just starting up a website. Yeah, man, myhotbike.com. What inspired you to um to create this website? Boy, bottom line is nothing up, nothing out there that we can go to that's like it. You got a car domain, you can go in with any car you want. However, that's hooked up on web. No motorcycle strictly for bikes unless it's somebody custom shop, you know, and they're trying to display their product. And can you get a little more in detail what's going to be featured on the website? Oh, it's going to have an online community. You'll be able to get your motorcycles rated and judged by online members. But you have to be a member in order to build a profile, just like going on Facebook or MySpace or whatever. Custom motorcycles, mainly. But then again, the average Joe and his motorcycle, too. But then we're going to have a model of the month, male and female. Uh, we're going to do giveaways. We're going to have an online bike show where you'll be able to upload your pictures and the members will vote on it. That's one of our biggest features. We have a lot of giveaways, especially mostly from the advertisers. It's for the average Joe. Uh -huh. Then that guy who don't have corporate money to spend on a motorcycle, spend 30, 40 grand. It's for that dude to spend a low money, spend low money tax time, low money Christmas time, low bonus money, whatever he's getting. Spending his uh, scrimping and saving to do what he do. So we can get a little exposure. But we can't be in the magazine, you feel me? And we can't, some people can't do the big show because they can't afford it. So now you can have your own online show. You can just log up and we right there. How long have you been dealing with motorcycles? Since 96. First bike was an F2. Somebody gave it to me, as a matter of fact. I had to do a lot of work to it. I spent about $4,500 getting it back together. Now, to be real with you, I'm just the average Joe. I don't have that kind of money to put into a bike. What would you tell me if I'm trying to get into bikes? You got to slow walk it, man. Everybody don't have 20, 30 grand to spend on a bike. You know, you can do a little bit this year, a little bit next year. Every time you get a little change, you can uh, invest in your motorcycle, you okay? Now, it's all according to what you want to do, because you can't live for the next guy. Just because he spent, you know what I mean? Then again, he might have got a brick you can't get. You know what I mean? He might know somebody, okay, we're swing on cars. 1200 he might get it for 600 just because he knows somebody. Now you go out there and try to do it, you go broke trying to do it. I will guarantee you that. Would it be any feature on um, bike clubs or groups? We definitely going to feature different bike clubs and groups, especially female crews. But we want to have crews that almost everybody in the crew has to have a bike because that's a real bike crew. You know, we run into a lot of crews, whereas they got a, their so-called bike club or whatnot, but one person in the crew got a bike, they got 14 members. Well, your site helped me be able to go to the right spots, the way to get the best price and the best deal and the best value. But that's that's why some of the advertisers are gonna be known as affiliates. They, when you got these affiliates, they're gonna give you a, a a better price than you would go to other places. And I'm gonna point you only in the direction of people who I know gonna do the work the way it's supposed to be done. But you know you won't get dragged around. You spend eight hundred dollars and it take you six months to get your work where you can go over here when you spend five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars and you can have your work done in two weeks. That's why we're going to build a whole network of people who we know we can deal with and trust. You know, that way they'll take care of all the people who are affiliated with the site. That's why we're going to call everybody affiliates. When I, when, I, when, I, when I look at the site, what do you want someone who's watching your site to get from it? I don't want you to be amazed. You know, for that that one guy who just, he just likes motorcycles, you know what I mean? And be able to come and see anything he wants to. But then again, you'll be able to come and get information. You know, like, you can't, you don't know how to get your stuff chrome, you don't know how to get it painted, you don't know how to get it powder coated, all that stuff will be accessible for you. You can come in and anything you need, any questions you need asked, you can get it answered just by coming on our site. Information, that's, that's a big thing about it. I got one more thing to say though, the main reason that I did this is because when you look at TV shows and magazines that are about motorcycles, we get a few minutes. You know, magazine 200 pages, we get three pages. If you want to see a, a, a chrome dial Busa, a chrome dial R1, something like that, you get three pages. Even a TV show that they got, I won't say the name, 23 minutes in a TV show, we get three minutes. The rest of us are about riding wheelies. That's not what I want to see. I want to see the real people who ride different bike clubs from, from Maine, to, Maine to California. Now, standing here, it's up to y'all to help me change this. 